Hello there, guys. I was just out flying my um, Grillo's P51D Mustang, and I noticed that it had a very severe turn tendency to the left. Um, it damaged this wing slightly. Hmm, not the best, but that's okay. But what it did uh, tell me is that I need to um, give it some some um, tendency toward the right. So I want to make it turn left, but I want also to want to pull it right so it's safe to turn left, so winds and stuff won't knock it over when I fly outside. So I wanted to warp this rudder so it is uh, bent to the right. I've seen many people on YouTube say, you can't do that. It's not good. It will break. Well, there are ways of doing it. One is to breathe on the, uh, the uh, surface because your breath is warm, it is moist, it will relax the tissue, it will melt the lignin or the kind of natural blue in the wood and make it want to want to bend, and you gently bend it, and it will theoretically go into that shape, but not, it's not a very uh, good method of doing it, because your breath is not that good at doing it. A method that will work is to find a source for steam. Um, I do have a nice steam source here, a pot of tea. Um, so, oopsie doopsie, got my tea, and I take a lid off, it is um, producing steam. I'll hold my surface above the steam, while breathing on it a little bit. And I'll slightly bend it. And if I do this for a while, it will it will eventually kind of obtain this, this um, shape that I'm trying to imply to it here. So I'll just wait a little bit. We'll wait uh, five seconds. Here's a small crack there, that's okay. And you can see already the surface is just gen generally bending right. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera, but I can. It is, um, the entire thing is deflected, kind of curved right, which is good. That's what I'm going for. A little more of my pot of tea, which is, again, steaming quite a lot. Um, and now, what you want to do after you've hold held it over the steam and it's starting to take that shape, is just hold it there for a bit. And that's, um, eventually gonna um, give the, the wood and the tissue that nice shape you want. When this covering starts to tighten up again, that's it's gonna tighten in that shape. And so there you go, guys. That is a short tutorial on how to warp uh, balsa and tissue surfaces to uh, have the shape you want them to have. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.